Today, I have a brand new controller, and no, it's not this one, as well as some great controller settings to create what just might be the new ultimate controller setup. First, I have to actually unbox the controller. This is from Hex Gaming, who makes quite a few different controllers that all look pretty nice, but this controller in specific is their custom PS5 version. I customized this one on their website, and here are all the options that I chose. First of all, white on PS5 controller just looks so clean. So I want white shells, all white buttons, literally white everything. Now here at the bottom case, you can either just choose like a design for the back, or they have this tab called rubberized grip, and I chose this option. Then over for the actual back buttons, of course I had to go white. And lastly, I made sure it has the digital tap bumpers and triggers. The total cost on this one came to $315, but Hex Gaming gave me the hookup and sent it out for completely free, which was really cool of them. So this is the controller in all of its glory. PS5 shape looks super clean anyways, but the all white makes it even better. Then there's this full rubber grip on the back with the four reprogrammable buttons. It has the instant press triggers and bumpers and the interchangeable thumbsticks, so there's shorter long options as well as domed or flat options. And this controller is called the Hex Gaming Ultimate. Did you guys see what I did with the title? Now actually building around with it a little bit and creative, it feels a little different because of the back button, but it's actually not bad at all. And this video is the potential new best controller setup. So that also includes the settings that I'm going to be using with it, which start off at a 0.085 slide hold time. Default pitch 0.1 camera settings with vibrations turned off. Both build and edit multipliers are going to be flat 2.0 with the look sense being 47% on both horizontal and vertical with no boost. ADS is going to be 10% on both horizontal and vertical with no boost. Zero second look dampening time exponential. I've been really liking exponential recently. And then dead zones. This is a brand new controller, but I still like 1010. Just a quick reminder to subscribe and use code CARDER2K. It's greatly appreciated. Now let's go ahead and see how this controller holds up in arena. Let's go. The shots weren't that impressive because he was completely still, but I'll take it. Uh -oh. Let's go. I'm not doing too bad. First arena game on this controller and I already got two kills. Dude, the aim is just so good right now. Dang, I should have my shotgun pulled out. Those dudes are sitting out there fighting. That guy's on the supply job. I just got to free rotate the zone. Let's go. Whoa, dude's trying to sneak up on me. The aim is so good. Oh, one more. Bro, what is he doing? He literally just placed an armored wall on every single side. There's absolutely no way he just did that. Bro, I mean, shout out to him for the free win, but that is the worst play I've seen in so long. So this controller is actually only the second premium PS5 controller I've ever tested. And so far, the only thing that I really wish it had is digital buttons. Basically, on my PS5 aim controller, every button on the controller has this sort of like clicky tactile feel instead of the normal like kind of mushy feel. Not only is it just way more satisfying to press those buttons, I also think it's useful because those buttons are actually faster. And at the same time, you never have to question if you actually click down. With 75 hit with the AUG is definitely not bad. Oh, let's go. Read him like a... Read him like a bug. He definitely should not have been able to get that last shot. Of Whatever, that's how it's gonna happen. It's still a new controller and I'm still getting used to it. During my initial free build, I actually wasn't sure if I was gonna like the paddles or not, specifically because of two reasons. One reason being that I typically prefer four paddle layouts where I can play with one finger resting on each paddle instead of having to click all four paddles with just my two middle fingers. The second reason why I wasn't sure if I'd like them or not is because the two paddles are not level with each other. This means when I have to just use my two middle fingers to click all four paddles, going from my outer paddles to my inner paddles, it's almost like a bump that my fingers have to traverse and that can definitely slow things down. However, so far, the layout does seem pretty natural, and I haven't really experienced too many issues with those two potential problems. Oh, what a shot. Uh, I should not have made that edit. Let's go. Let's go, beam them. <laughs> Bro, okay, he just shot me straight through my build. And there he goes down like four armored walls, bro. Dang. Dude, I don't know where this dude's going. I'm just gonna sit here and practice my aim on him. He's literally, he's gotta be like one shot. 
let's go. I don't need to figure out what this other guy is. I'm just gonna sit here and hope he walks out this door. No way that actually worked. There's like six inches in I actually just got so lucky. Even if it doesn't look the best, I really wish this grip on the back would just wrap all the way around to the front because my hands just sweat way too much. Honestly, one day, maybe I'll just make my own controller that solves every issue I have. That'd definitely be really hard and probably expensive, but it might be worth it. Whoa. Holy, dude, I don't even think I missed a shot right there. Bro, the armored walls again. Oh, the smooth edit right into the shot. Let's go. Bro, how does it keep... Bro, why did that break so weird? No way. Oh, dude, I choked that last shot. Honestly, so far for my first time ever using this controller, I feel like I'm doing pretty well on it. I think I might change my main controller on PS5 to be this one. But I do have something else being delivered hopefully soon that might also change my decision again. So I guess just make sure to subscribe and stay tuned to see what I actually end up using on PS5. Oh, that track. Haha, <laughs> let's go. Oh, bro, there goes my last shotgun bullet. Bro. I literally feel like I don't even have aim assist right now. Oh, I didn't even see him get in my box. Hey, this is my last game on this controller. Win or lose. I started off really strong. First arena game on this controller, I won. And then even though I feel like I've been getting better on the controller, I'm placing worse and worse. Bro, is this guy out of mass? Or does he not think I can see him? Oh, this guy's actually fighting so annoying. Oh, and we got a third party. Nice, dude. And he just killed the player that I was fighting. Let's go. Those were some good shotgun shots. I'm kind of glad that I missed that first edit because I think I would have died. See if I can knock him out of the air. Bro, get out of my face. I'm actually so done with this game, bro. Overall, I would say that this is a pretty solid controller. It definitely has a better power layout than a lot of other controllers out there. And it obviously has some great other features. So I'll make sure to link to this controller in the top of the description if you want to check it out. Remember to subscribe and thanks so much for watching.